thank you for watching. My name is Mia and this is my virtual vanity, a place where we both love makeup and are quite critical of it. New hair, who this? I just had it done today. I'm really feeling myself. What do you guys think of this new darker look on me? Today, I am having a very fun video for you guys. I am going to review a bunch of Stalvana products. Stalvana were kind enough to send me a bunch of Eastern Asian makeup to try out. I have to say, I'm loving a lot of these things. I also have a discount code with them. It's INF10MVV from Mia's Virtual Vanity. It's here on the screen as well for, you know, usage. I'm going to link every product I use down below. Those are affiliate links. I get a small kickback just so you know. Stylevana is a website that caters to Asian makeup, beauty, skincare, fashion. While me and East Asian fashion don't really get along because I simply do not have, will never have the body type for it, I really do love Asian makeup. And I think it's because it matches my airy fairy sheer washes of color aesthetic. That's the trend over there and has been the trend over there for quite a while. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you how everything performs. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna uh, zoom you in. If I look like shit when I take off my glasses, it's because I haven't had a good night's sleep in three weeks. <laughs> I don't know if I need to do some sort of blood ritual naked under the full moon, but I'm willing to do it as long as I do get a night to sleep. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Okay, I already moisturized. We are going to start with the Purito Daily Go To Sunscreen, and this is SPF 50 plus. I really enjoy this. It does feel weightless. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It's great under makeup. I've been using it for the past two weeks since they sent me this package. I've just been non-stop testing what they sent me. You should apply SPF generously to make sure everything gets covered, but I won't be very careful right now because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, uh, you know, filming this for you guys, so I don't need to be that careful. It's weightless, it sinks in quite nicely, it's a touch hydrating without being too greasy and it helps makeup glide on better on top of it, especially if I put um, another primer on top, just you know, to sandwich in everything. Next up we have the Hamish Artless Glow Base, this also has SPF, but uh, you should never count on your makeup to provide proper SPF because the regular amounts of makeup that you would put on simply aren't enough to provide coverage. You would have to put a ton of everything and especially with this, as it's a illuminating primer, you would literally have to cover your face in it and look like the Tin Man to end up getting enough coverage out of things for the SPF to be effective. So uh, we are not going to count on that for sunscreen needs, but I do enjoy it as a illuminating base, especially since I have dry skin, and now in the winter, I look like a lizard. I am crackling all over, shedding my skin. I need to double up on the moisturizer, double up on the exfoliating, on the enzyme creams, and just, I'm bathing myself in serums. It's, it's a nightmare. So you can see how much glow this gave my skin, and it's a very healthy glow. I've loved using this under foundation as well as on its own. And when I wear it on its own, I just put it on this area over here on the cheek so it doesn't make my T-zone too glowy. I'm going uh, to prime my eyes, apply a little bit of concealer, and then we'll move on to the cushion foundation that Salvana sent me. I like letting my concealer sit a bit after applying it and while I do that I'm going to take a higher coverage potted concealer and I'm going to point conceal uh, some of my breakouts and redness. I had like a Sephora hydrating mask lying around and it had coconut in it like coconut oil so I wore it, big mistake. Because apparently my skin does not like coconut. So now I'm full of these 
little annoying ass breakouts that I have to deal with and spot conceal, which is incredibly annoying, but such is life, perfect skin does not exist. Let's talk foundation. They sent me the Moonshot Micro Glassy Fit Cushion Foundation in the color 201. And it has this like this lovely hollow packaging. I will probably end up reusing the packaging at a certain point, not going to lie. It comes with, uh, you know, decent mirror, which I'm not going to show you guys very well because I'm going to blind you. Puff, because we do know Asian beauty brands love their puffs. And you open this thing up. And you've got the cushion over here. I'm going to admit 201 it is, a, it is a bit too yellow for me. Like it, it's good in how light it is, but it would be more suited for someone that has a slightly yellower undertone than I do. With a cushion it is more high coverage. I'm not that much of a fan of it, so high coverage, simply because I'm a you know I'm a low coverage girly. I like stuff to peek through and show through. So this is how it looks looks like. See how glowy and glassy my skin still looks? I really enjoy the finish of this. Also, I know I look like a crazy person with lips like this, but we're gonna fix it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. See, it doesn't, doesn't really show any texture. Clings to the skin nicely. Uh, but you know how I mitigate that? I put it on the center of my face only and then spread it out with the Zoeva 104 buffer. And so you've got like a more, you know, slightly yellowish center, but then it fades out into my regular skin tone. And then I also like to apply it with the same brush in a thinner layer. So it's not as high coverage and it blends in into my natural tone and it ends up being something in between that doesn't look off. After that full coverage disaster that humbled me and made me realize that I still have a lot to learn about makeup application, I realized that I forgot to present you the Art Class by Rodan Contour Powder in Modern. Since I needed to film footage of application for this, I might as well film applying the Moonshot Glassy Fit Cushion with a foundation brush to show you that I'm not that much of a disaster and this is not that much of a disaster. So like objectively, I feel that this is the superior way to apply this. But it does take away from the coverage, so there's that. Now let me show you the Sculpt Powder by Art Class by Rodan in three sides. And I usually use the middle for my nose and the darker side for the rest of my face. Okay, so uh, let, let me zoom you, in, zoom you in on my very Eastern European schnooze. Well, the thing with nose contour is that you have to uh, basically translate it to what your nose looks like. In my case, my nose is very triangular, see? Where this part is relatively thinner, much thinner than this part over here. So it, it really literally triangulates. So my interest in making my nose look a bit slimmer is not focusing on this part, like people would that have a thicker bridge, but this part and the bulb. So I ignore this side of my nose and follow it up here. Like it's not that much of a difference, but I like a more subtle effect because I want to go out in real life like this. And what I like about this Art Class by Rodin, Rodin powder is that it is subtle and low pigment. So it blends in quite nicely with my skin tone or my base. And I'll use the darker side now just to make it more obvious for you guys. There we go, contoured schnooze for the uh, the sides of my face, I'll use the darker color. See how easy it blends out? It's really nice. And it's a good shade for my skin tone. Not too warm, not too ashy cool. It just works. There we go. Uh, sculpted. Defined. 
See how it's like, it's a very subtle effect, but it's one that does make a difference. And I did tell you that this was going to rede be redeemed with a, um, a foundation brush. I think it works also with the beauty blender, but I find that the beauty blender doesn't really pick enough products. So you just kind of have to go in with it. We're done here, back to a uh, regular Mia who is looking a little bit patchy in the foundation department, a little bit ghastly. Okay, so lips. Let's try to do the very popular gradient lip, although I don't think I have enough lip for it to go around, but we'll see. And I'm going to use the Medizy Blur Fit, Fit Tint, and this is in Red Sensation. I've also used this as a full color like I usually use lipstick and I'm going to put a, a picture on the side. I really like how this performs. Um, it's not a matte lipstick, so it's not going to stick around if you eat. Because I've tested it, I went yesterday to a restaurant, it, it was gone by the time I finished my meal and my drinks and everything else. Um, but it ha does have minimal transfer when you talk and go about your life otherwise. And it's a very comfortable, silicone moussey texture that doesn't dry out the lips at all. I really, really do enjoy it. And it's a very beautiful, youthful, daily red type of color. Like that type of red that you would put on effortly, effortlessly on the go. It doesn't look... It looks elegant, but it doesn't look to up, done up. You know what I mean? So I don't know how to feel uh, this, uh, this gradient situation. Let me just put my glasses on to figure it out if I like it or not. Am I fucking blind? Let's see. And I think it looks... Uh, Looks decent. No, trying something new. My god, the coverage on this thing. Um, I forgot to mention, <laughs> this one, the cushion foundation, does settle into my fine lines over here. So there is that. Up next, we have the uh, Skin Food Peach Powder. Listen, this smells amazing. I don't know what kind of perfumed crack they put in it. It just smells so good. It smells like peach pastry and I love that scent. But it does tend to get a bit messy. <laughs> tends to uh, scent powder everywhere. Otherwise, I really like the formula itself because it's very, very lightweight, very airy, and mattifies without making me look craggly and scaly. I think you can visibly tell the difference in sheen and how good of a job it did. Now, I can't tell you how well this holds up to more sebum or oiliness because I'm not really that oily skinned, I'm more on the dry side and now that we're in winter I'm even more dry so your mileage may vary but I love it as it is right now. Let's talk brows. Uh, they sent me the Orchid Skin 3-in-1 Eyebrow and this has, this has a really interesting little mechanism so you've got a spoolie of course, you've got a side that has, that's a bit like a marker and on the other edge of the, you know, the thing, you've got a regular triangle pencil. I love triangle pencils. They help you create brush-like strokes very easily. I, I'll first apply the powder thingy, the, you know, the, 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 the crayon thingy. Um, I don't particularly like using that because I need more precision. Uh, I feel that I have enough brow that I can go away with without drawing them in too much, so I prefer using the pencil only. But I do get how this would be useful for people that need to add a bit more fluff and, you know, bulk to the color of their brows. Then I start doing hair-like strokes at the base and arch and blend them in with the spoolie. Yeah? That's basically my whole brow routine in general. Draw strokes, blend them in with the spoolie, apply gel on top, that's it. Something to mention about the foundation, so I didn't notice this uh, when I was testing it because I don't take my glasses off during the day, but the glasses lifted it even after powdering. So something to note if you actually care about that. I usually don't. I really don't. I'm blind. I'm keeping my glasses in anyway, but it did lift around this area, so I had to kind of like pat it in with my fingers. For palette, I have the Hamish Glitter Eyeshadow Palette in Coral Berry. Usually not something that I would choose because I don't like glitter, but this is actually really nice. And the chunkier glitter shade is so sticky that I don't feel that there is any fallout. It has like this type of uh, adhesive or glue in it that makes it stick without glitter glue. 
So this is an acceptable glitter to me. It's not one of those ColourPop glitter that fall to, it, to their deaths all over your face. And I like that most of these are dual chrome. You've got mostly eyeshadow toppers. You've got some of those uh, sparkly satiny shades. So uh, let's let's get to having some fun with this palette. And I'm going to start by uh, putting this all over the, uh, the lid. So I really have to appreciate how soft these are and how blendable these satiny shimmery glitter shades because see how i'm not even applying that see, much this pressure is why I like to Asian beauty man working that hard to blend it if you want to build it up you can build it up if you want to go sheer it's very easy to go sheer going to use this shade in the middle, uh, this shade next to it, and then a bit of this. So most of the shades here I think I would consider them shimmer toppers. Now for the piece de resistance, I will use this glitter. <laughs> you, you guys know I don't really fuck with glitter, but it's there, it's pink, it's pretty, so... Why not? So I don't know if you can tell, but this has so many colors and the reflex in it, it's pretty. Yeah, you know what? I might be a convert. Hamish might have made me realize that glitter in small doses and very sticky formulas, well, it's not necessarily like, you know, sticky sticky, but more sticky than color pops, is in fact good. I'm then going to line my eyes with the uh, McQueen waterproof pen eyeliner, and this is in black. And I'm dreading it because I'm fucking blind and I have to do liner in this little mirror. Fun. Okay, so this is it. I uh, I fucked up a little. So I'm just gonna go and do the other liner at the table like a regular pe person, and then clean up the little bit of thing that I uh, effed up. Be right back. So I'm back. And I do feel that uh, I look more decent. So the secret to good liner is to keep your elbow on a flat surface, which I can't do when I'm filming because I film on my couch. Uh, so yeah, that's my excuse. I also did like a, a couple of like anime lashes on the bottom lashes because I'm feeling I'm feeling cutesy and experimental today. For mascara, I have the the Hamish mascara. This is a good lengthening and defining mascara, but I don't find that it gives a lot of volume. It's really great at curl though. Like if I curl my lashes, which I rarely bother to do, and then I apply this, it holds the curl amazingly. But I honestly prefer volume over curl in my case. This is the final eye look with mascara. I've got this uh, MAC Queen Jewel Potten Liner, which is a bit of a liquid glitter liner type of thing. Something that I wouldn't purchase for myself because me and glitter. I think it's fine. I enjoy it. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like a spot, a halo here underneath. I've been really enjoying doing that with my Neve Cosmetics eyeliners. So we'll do that right now. So I wouldn't use this as a liner, I would use this to spot highlight or spot glitter or put it on top of the of eyeshadow because I don't think it's opaque and dense enough to be an eyeliner, but it does work. Use this way. So this is the final look. 
with the mascara, eyeshadow, liner, glitter. Okay, let's uh, let's zoom you guys out so you no longer see all of my sins, tragedies, and past traumas. I have to say I'm not a fan of this cushion foundation with a puff. I've been enjoying it with the, the brush because I can sheer it out, but with the puff and its full coverage, uh, not happy. Um, I'm gonna post a picture here. This is how it looks like on me with the foundation brush as opposed to the puff. Blush time. I'm going to use the Peri Pera Pure Blush Sunshine Coral, no, Sunshine Cheek in Milk Tea Coral, a very pretty peachy flattering shade. This is so dainty and pretty and soft. Absolutely love it. Very beautiful, seamless formula. And since we are being very glittery, in for a penny, in for a pound, I'm going to use the Zessy H05 highlighter. Uh, Style Vanna doesn't, didn't send me a highlighter, but I want to be shiny everywhere, so. So we're going to shine the cheeks out. This is a very pretty highlight, uh, but it is a tad glittery. So it's my going out at night or filming highlighter. <laughs> Not my, you know, wrangling IT problems at work highlight, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is the final look. I have to say I enjoy a lot, 90% of the things they sent me. These are really, really cool products, really high quality. The highlight for me is definitely the palette which introduced me to a, a type of glitter that I can actually use and enjoy without fearing that I will poke up my eye out and become more blind than I actually am. I love the, uh, the lipstick. It's just a very beautiful, youthful color. Actually, let me just uh, put it on normally. Like, I love gradient lips, but I don't think my face suits them that well. I think this is a, a much better look for me. The cushion foundation, I enjoy it with a caveat. I don't like it with a puff. Uh, I like it only with a foundation brush and sheared out. Otherwise, I, it's not my preference. I think it's too high coverage. I think it makes me look a bit ghostly, as you can see. And I also find that if I apply it at its full potential, it lifts by my glasses and it bunches up over here. Uh, so, you know, you, your mileage may vary with that one. Otherwise, yeah, I really enjoyed everything I tried out. Go check out Stylevana. As mentioned before, my code is INF10MVV. So, India, North, Foxtrot, the number 10, Manila, Vancouver, Vancouver. <laughs> and that will get you 10, 15 off on most products, except those that are already heavily discounted or are part of weekend deals because, uh, you know, those already have like a discount going on. So there's that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to uh, give me a like, you know, thumbs up. It really helps. A comment. Subscribe if you want to hang out, please and thank you. <laughs> it would really mean a lot to me. Uh, yeah, have a great evening, morning, second breakfast, third lunch, or whatever it is you're from. Bye!